In a recent video, I showed you how to make your paracord necklaces and lanyards safe. So in this one, I want to show you how to make them unique. Here are six knots for attaching a keyring or pendant to your necklace. Let's start with the cat's paw. We'll begin by making a cow hitch. So insert a loop or bite of the rope through the ring and then bring it around like this. And there is our cow hitch. If we loosen that up a little ways, and add a couple twists. So with our cross piece on top, we'll flip it this direction twice, once, twice, and now when we pull that tight, we get these nice little stripes right here. See, cat's paw. Next is the bull hitch. And this one's very simple, it just adds one more step to the cow hitch. Start by making the cow hitch. Then take that loop, add a twist, and pull your extra cord up through that loop. Tighten it down, and you have yourself a simple bull hitch. This next one is affectionately known as Napoleon's Claw, made by Extreme Para YouTube channel. We'll again start by making a cow hitch, leaving it loose, and flipping it over so that our cross piece is on top. Then we'll take our ends and feed them back through until you have this little bunny ear. Do the same with the other side. You can tighten down the cow hitch portion now. Make our ears a little bit smaller. So we've got that. And then take your right side end and put it through that left loop. And crisscross the left side cord and put it through the right loop. and then carefully tighten that down without capsizing the knot. So bring your ears smaller, and then feed your cord through. When you're finished tightening it down, it should look like this. Next up is the Alpine Butterfly Loop. This knot is often used for climbing, but it's also fairly decorative. Start by wrapping around your thumb, then bring it around your hand, and across the front of your fingers. At this point, you want to thread your pendant or keychain on so that it sits on top of your fingers. Bring the cord around the back and make an X across your palm one more time. Then we're going to take that pendant or ring, bring it down over that X, and then up underneath all those cords. Bring that through and pull on both ends of your cord. And there is your Alpine Butterfly. Next we have the dropper loop knot. This knot has been in a lot of viral videos as a quick way to tie a keychain. Begin by threading the ring onto your cord and laying it out in a big loop. Then you want to take these two cords and wrap them around each other once, twice, three times, four times, and then bring that ring down and put it through that loop in the middle of your twist. Pull on your ends again. And you have this knot right here. The dropper loop. This last knot doesn't have a name yet. I recently found it on Reddit. I'll link to the post in the description. A Reddit user came up with this knot, but I thought it makes a good pendant knot. We'll begin by wrapping the cord around our finger. So we'll take one end and drape it over your pointer finger, bring it around, and tuck it underneath in a simple overhand knot, like that. Bring it around again. This time we're gonna thread the keychain or pendant on, and then leave a little bit of a loop before tucking it under this cord right here. 
like that. Bring it around the back, following that cord, tucking it through our loop. So on the back side here, we're gonna go through that loop. So that we come up right alongside that first cord. And then in our last move, looking from the top here, we're gonna separate the double cord and the single cord and put this right down through the middle, moving towards the end of our finger. And now we can slide it off of our finger and tighten the knot down. You might want to adjust your loop size at this point and feed that through the knot until it comes out one end. So I like this knot because it's semi-symmetrical, so it looks really nice. And also this loop on the bottom side is diagonal, so it works really well for a flat pendant or one with a sideways ring. So there are six different pendant knots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments which one was your favorite, and if your favorite wasn't on this list, be sure to tell us that as well. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.